Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. It's August 28, 2018. <clears throat> I thought I had seen just about everything, and in the last few years, that is an understatement. The things that have come out of the woodwork, oh my goodness. People, the Lord Jesus is coming back for his children any time now. The wickedness is coming out of the woodwork like I have never seen in my entire life. Oh my gosh. Kim Kardashian and Chrissy Teigen just got accessories implanted into their skin. Oh my gosh, this is going to be the hook that draws the jaws of the mass sheeple who want to be like these wicked people. And this is going to be how the DNA is going to literally be changed. You will no longer be in the image of God. You will be in the image of Satan. And they are shoving this down the throats of all of the youth over the whole world. And people are going to fall for it. Okay, I'm going to read you some of the stuff I found on this. This is from today. August 28, 2018. Is this alien-like trend the future of fashion? Well, if you look at our website, you will think it is. There once was a time when we dubbed smartwatches and fitness trackers as the future of fashion. But a human, an upcoming body modification exhibit, is here to take things to a whole new level with fashion implants. So Kim Kardashian West and Chrissy Teigen were amongst the first to wear the alien-like body modification accessories, which appear to be implanted into their skin. Now look at this video of Kim Kardashian. She shows off a choker necklace that literally moves in sync with her heartbeat. Watch. Literally, it's implanted in her neck, and it moves with the rhythm of her heartbeat. Are you kidding me? Thousands of people are already liking this. Here's Chrissy Teigen, meanwhile, went for an entirely different piece of intricate body artwork, resembling skin-like feathers across her neck. Oh, my gosh. There's a little boy in the background. What wickedness. Oh my gosh. I kid you not. Here is some model from Queer Eyes show. Look at this. Horns on her shoulders. Are you kidding me? Horns. Coming out of her shoulders. Oh my gosh, thousands and thousands of people are liking this, people. Look at this dude. Hmm. He's got a fancy Tudor necklace. It's right under his skin. Oh my gosh, I kid you not, people. So this is all about a futuristic body... Um, enhancement coming up in New York City for Fashion Week. It's debuting on, let's see, September 5th, going for one month. Look at this one. You can have your feet made like seashells, implants into your heels. You won't have to put on shoes anymore because you already got your DNA implanted heels right there. I'm not kidding you people. 
This is freaking me out. They're called Biological Heal Series. Biological Heals. Oh my gosh. This is freaking me out. Would you get high heels implanted in your feet? Oh my gosh. If you could change your body as easily as you change your clothes, would you? That's the concept for this A Human exhibit beginning September 5th in New York City. We didn't want to root any of our modifications on the idea of existing insecurities or discomforts. A Human is about the freedom to explore this world and live in this world in any way which you choose. The futuristic take on the world, your choices, will include swapping out your wedgie sandals for a conch-like, shell-like, permanent heel, or having new DNA-mirrored hearts created and implanted for you and your beloved. Is this creepy or is this cool? That's for you to decide. When you think of the future, you think dark, dystopian, there are all of these images that can come to mind. I didn't want to create a utopian world, but I definitely wanted to create a world that was optimistic or at the bare minimum neutral. We wanted to use the future of fashion and the future of self-expression as a way to look into the future. Look at, you can change your, your boobs and your stomach. Oh my gosh, people, this is, this is creeping me out. Creeping me out. Satanic and wickedness. Oh my gosh, how many people are going to fall for this? Young women, young men. Fashion is more than the clothes you wear. It's also the choices you make about your body and how you present yourself. Um... I like pushing the boundaries of what can be considered fashion and finding the edge of self-expression. My inspiration was a lot of imagery drawn from sci-fi and fantasy drawings of things that aren't quite human. Aliens and robots are disquieting because they look humanoid, but the details and proportions are different. Should distended shoulders not be your vibe? You can opt for a printed tee at an exhibit's gift shop. The goal here isn't to do isn't to do it for the gram. Not sure what the gram is, but also to get people talking. Yes, sharing content is important, but there's also a desire to go to something that makes you ask questions when you go out the door. Oh my gosh. Think of it like the Museum of Ice Cream meets a museum of a natural where you can take a selfie and then try on a new rib cage for size. Sounds wild, but with our relationships to our pro pro projected selves changing at lightning pace thanks to social media, maybe a new shoulder or heel isn't that far off after all. This is their website, A Human. Our story. If you can change your body as easily as you change your clothes, does your appearance lose all the meaning or does it mean everything? Introducing A Human, a fashion brand from the future where self-expression isn't defined by what you put on your body, but how you change your body. Oh my gosh, I kid you not. Here you can change your heart. You can customize it yourself to check it out. Oh my gosh. Here's frequently asked questions. Look at these. Premiering on September 5th, A Human will showcase its premier collection in New York City. 
This collection will be unlike any fashion line you've ever seen before. Is it com it's comprised of body modifications instead of clothes. Bespoke hearts for you and your lover, or biological heels that stem from your legs. What about an elongated spine, or bejeweled barnacles growing from your neck? Anything is possible in this world. Oh my gosh. Here's their Facebook page. I don't know what this is about this heart, but somehow you can make it turn blue in case you have a blue period. More jaw-dropping modifications you can change to the Golden Goose Heart. I'm not kidding you people. This is something I've never seen before. It's blowing my mind. Look at this. This is the Instagram page. These are people that are starting to do this wickedness. Oh my gosh. Tickets for sale right here. You can go be one of the first to see and try things on. Wow. Here's Kim Kardashian. I'm going to show you this again. Oh my gosh, that is so creepy. Look at, she's also almost got two million views. Look at that. 20,000 people like it. Shall we see what some of the comments are? How do we do that? Comments. I'm just looking at some of the people if they think this is a good idea. This is the best thing I've seen all day. Doesn't her necklace look like it's implanted? Yes, that looks weird. Aw, oh, creepy, love it. Creepy and love it? Someone says it's terrifying. Hmm, well, I'm surprised most of these people are saying it's weird and creepy and revolting. Revolting. Bizarro. Wow. I'm cringing. You look so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. This grossed me out. Look and listen to these people. I'm I'm surprised at how many people are saying this is crazy wickedness. But look at this. Oh, now nah, psychedelic. Where can I get one? I love you. This is all about this implanted necklace she has that glows with the, with her heartbeat. Wow. A lot of people thinking, oh, that's so nice. Look at this. Very nice. People, oh, you look like a queen. <laughs> some people are like saying she's creepy, this is creepy, but wow, some people are saying, this is awesome. People are going to love it. People are going to flock to this kind of garbage. So, friends... I really can't even tell you how freaked out this has me. Wickedness is here. Opening up in New York September 5th. Change your DNA. You can change any part of your body you want. Free expression. Do whatever you want. If it feels good, do it. Oh my gosh. 
Satan's coming. He is about to let open the doors of hell onto this earth. And of course, we will be gone. We will be out of here. We will be safely and securely with our Lord Jesus Christ in the air, in heaven, in the Father's house. If you do not know Jesus Christ, friend, get on the ark today. I am begging you, ask Jesus Christ who he is, if he's truly the Lord and Savior of the world, and he will tell you. You do not want to be left here, friends. You don't. Jesus Christ is the only way to the Father in heaven. All hell is about to break loose on this earth. Satanic influences are going to be coming out everywhere. Wickedness is going to be so thick you're going to feel it. Chaos is coming. Darkness is coming. Evil and wickedness is coming. Get on the ark. God bless you all. In the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, our Lord and King, He's coming. Maranatha.